Well, we have new details to pass along to you about a fire at an assisted living facility in Columbiana County. It's a story we first brought to you during our six o'clock newscast and 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis. He was down in Columbiana County, but you actually have some good news to pass along to us after this really devastating fire. I do have good news. All five people who were inside that assisted living facility at the time, they did make it out alive this morning after it caught fire. Now the uh, 911 call came in just before two o'clock this morning. Bruce Rison says he made the call after seeing the home in flames and we received pictures from the scene as firefighters worked to put the fire out. These pictures from the Morning Journal show an early morning fire on Sunday in Homeworth. Neighbors and residents look on as firefighters work to put out the flames burning the home. When one neighbor noticed the fire, he called 911. I went up there and the house was on fire and I called 911 at 154. And that's when the fire department showed up. Now that the scene has been cleared, this is what the building looks like, a total loss. When crews arrived on the scene, they were faced with a rescue mission. There was a victim on the roof that we uh, were able to find and locate and bring off the roof. After the rescue, the roof collapsed. All five people inside the Shady Side home and assisted living facility were taken to Alliance Community Hospital five miles away. One person had to be treated for smoke inhalation. After being released, the victims were taken to another living facility. Firefighters were on the scene for more than 10 hours. They were still putting out hot spots in the afternoon. Fire Chief Brian Baker says there would have been a challenge with water supply if they had to rely on the tanker trucks. We were fortunate that there was a pond on scene that we were able to draft directly out of. Bruce is thinking about the positives of this emotional situation. There was five people in there and they all got out alive. That's the main thing guys look at. The building can always be rebuilt. And the fire chief says there were a total of seven crews who were there on the scene to help put the fire out, as well as help that person that was there on the roof. Now, right now, the state marshal's office is working to determine the cause of that fire. Definitely a pretty big fire. Luckily, everybody made it out of that fire. Yeah, really good news. Definitely. All right. Thanks, Derek.